afternoon, everyone. It is definitely afternoon. Um, I'm going to World of Barbie today for a sneak peek of the Barbie movie, which I'm super excited about. I really want to go to the premiere. I'm going to try to make that happen. <laughs> I recently found a clip of me on Christmas Day. I think it was like 97, 1997, um, where my parents gifted me a life-size Barbie. So just know, I'm a lifelong Barbie fan, okay? <laughs> um, but it's all the way in Santa Monica. I hate going to the west side, but, um, you know, I'll just put on a really good playlist and uh, just vibe in my own little sanctuary. This is my outfit, wearing pink, obviously. My blazer is from the men's section of Express love menswear my uh tube top this is very like y2k inspired obviously um i feel like a tube top and low rise jeans was like y2k's favorite outfit combination or one of them anyway um this tube top is from a brand called donny and then these jeans i believe i got from free people and then my boots are from revolve and then i'm wearing my denim coach bag. Yeah. It didn't take that long to get here, but that traffic going back. So what, everybody wants to go to the mall today? Like, what is this? What is going on? And then I always take a picture of where I'm parked. I can't tell you how many times I've lost my car. I didn't remember what floor I was parked on. I didn't know what section I was parked in. And it happened, mind you, this happened at Universal Studios. So you can imagine trying to find my car there. so um, it's charging right now but I'm about to go get a massage I get I like to get a massage at least once a month I try to go twice a month depending on if it's in my budget and if I have time to do it that's the most important thing um, but this is what I'm wearing I'm wearing this like really cute um, like sports dress this is from lululemon and then i'm wearing this oversized sports jacket which is shaped like a blazer which is also from lululemon i have my crew socks and my new balance sneakers and then i'm just gonna wear my denim coach bag and yeah the reason why i like to wear one pieces or dresses when i go get a massage is because you're gonna take it off anyway and so 
all you have to do is take off one piece. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, comfy, chic, not overdone, but still looking a little put together. You know what I mean? Yeah. I got a little gift bag at World of Barbie yesterday. I haven't really looked inside of it, so I figured let's do like a little unbagging, <laughs> unboxing, unbagging. Um, obviously, I already know what these are. These are roller skates or roller blades. Um, I think these are roller blades. Yeah, they're the yellow ones. I don't know if these are the exact ones that they used in the movie. That is just so cute. I know how to rollerblade. I'm just, I'm not the best at roller skating, but I know how to rollerblade. So I'm actually very excited to have these. <laughs> and this is by Impala Skates. They're like one of the, I wanna say like most well-known like skate companies for like rollerblades and roller skates. So I'm excited about that. Thank you so much, Barbie and Impala skates. And then, what a, ooh, how cute. We got a little hat. I like the color of this. This is like my favorite kind of pink. It's like a little subdued, but it's still like pink. You know what I'm saying? I really like this pink. We got some Barbie Impala Skates socks. They look like crew socks. So I'm very excited about that because these are my favorite types of socks. My favorite length of socks, I should say. And then got another thing here. <laughs> so it says, hi Barbie. Hi Barbie. Hi Barbie. And on way on the back it says, hi Ken. <laughs> This says fragile, so this is probably like a candle or a mug. Yep, it's a mug, just like I thought. I am a tea drinker, so I love collecting mugs. Oh, I also didn't update you on my massage. Um, it went really well. Um, my posture has improved significantly. And you know what? Like, I don't see getting massages as a luxury. I see it as healthcare because every single time I go to a massage place, the massage therapist is always like super shocked at how tight I am right here. And it's directly uh, connected to my anxiety disorder. For anyone that has an anxiety disorder, one of the side effects is um, motor tension or muscle tension, and it like can really do a number on your shoulders, your back, um, your face, your jaw, if you clench your jaw. So um, yeah, I don't see massages as a luxury. I see it as healthcare. And then I got this PR package. I don't know what's in it. I don't even know who this is from, but let's open it. It's more Barbie stuff. What? <laughs> okay, so we got two Barbies. We've got a veterinarian Barbie. And then we've got a chef Barbie. This one looks Asian. <laughs> we've got a notebook, you know, really fun things have sunglasses. I'll probably, honestly, I'll give this to um, my sister-in-law's nieces. Um, Cause I think they're like the perfect age range for this type of stuff. So yeah. So this will be a fun little gift for them. Yay. Thank you so much Mattel and Barbie and Warner Brothers for all these gifts.
first fashion video in a very long time. I can't even remember the last time I uploaded a fashion video, but that was really fun. But filming fashion videos makes a mess out of my living space. <laughs> so everything used to be here and now everything is here and here and here and here. And here. <sighs> I'm not gonna clean up today. I'm too tired. I'll do it tomorrow or the day after that. Beauty maintenance day. So I'm gonna drive all the way back to Santa Monica to get my eyebrows done. And then um, I'm gonna come back and do some editing and then drive all the way to Long Beach to get my nails done. Um, I love my nail girl. I don't know um, anyone else that does um, like a Russian manicure in LA. So I'm going back to my nail girl in Long Beach. Long day. Shape. Yeah, I was like, I need to make an appointment ASAP. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw the most adorable dog ever in the world. It was probably like a poodle mix. She was so cute. Her name was Clara. And it's mi making me miss Keith Eye. <laughs> but anyway, I just got my eyebrows done. I was in desperate need of that. Um, I look well-groomed again. <laughs> um, but now I'm going to charge my car a little bit and then head home, do a little bit of editing, and then head to Long Beach for, um, for my nails. I still don't really know what I want to do with my nails. I really like the French nails situation. I just think it's so classic, but um, I don't know. It's my birthday's next week, so I was like, maybe I'll do something a little bit different, do something a little fun. But I have a few hours to figure that out, so we're gonna figure it out. On another note, you're supposed to like not use tretinoin, like. I think it's like 72 hours before you get your eyebrows waxed. Now, I forgot that I had an eyebrow appointment, so I used it. I didn't use it last night, but I used it like the past two nights before that. So hopefully I'm gonna be fine. <laughs> But also my tretinoin is like a really low percentage, it's like 0 0.02, so hopefully it's not like too bad, but I do feel 
well, I just got my eyebrows waxed, so I'm, I'm gonna feel something, but hopefully it's not like in a bad way. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. <laughs> I'm out of my mind. Alright y'all, so I'm here, and I figured out what I wanted to do. We're gonna do like these airbrushed sunset nails. I actually don't know if you can see that, but I'll put a picture right here. Um, it'll be super cute, I'm excited! Alright, before, it's actually kind of embarrassing how grown out they are, but that's why we're here today, we're gonna fix it. <laughs> that, this is so cute! <laughs> It's like viral on TikTok, you think? Yeah. Oh my gosh. I guess like Hailey Bieber collects them or something like that. Oh. They know, like, them and stuff like that. But, there's, but they've been around for years. <laughs> this is so cute. <laughs> anyway, y'all, look at her little setup here. Look how cute. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> and honestly, look at like everything else. Like, look, look at this place. Love like the color situation. <laughs> has left a despondent chill in the palace halls. I don't want to be next to you either. We gotta be careful to be sure it's the best way. You know what I'm on? Know each other, I guess. This is Sorry, I'm just looking for the loo. <laughs> I'm Alex Finity from Melbourne, Australia. I'm a new teacher here this year. Why are you not gay? You mean the guy you don't want to talk to? Oh my god. Wow, so cute. So cute yet so simple. You know what I'm saying? So I need to record a voiceover for this fashion video that I just filmed. And doing it in a closet is the best way to get the best audio. So I'm about to set up my voiceover studio right now. <laughs> And that is the final setup. So now I'm just gonna get in here, close the door, and get to work on that voiceover. I am on my way to the orthodontist for an Invisalign consultation because I lost my retainer in November. And uh, those teeth moved real quick. They moved real, real quick. My teeth got really crooked really fast. Like it's only May and I lost my retainer in November and uh, my teeth shifted a lot. And my bite, my bite when I had, when I did my first round in Invisalign, it improved my bite a lot. Like I have a slight overbite and when I got the Invisalign, it uh, corrected my bite. But then <clears throat> um, when I went on retainers, it kind of shifted back into an overbite and now that I lost my retainers it like got even worse so um, I have to get Invisalign again <laughs> one hour later okay so more bad news than good news <laughs> so I just went to my consultation and basically um, my insurance doesn't cover this round of Invisalign because allegedly it's supposed to be like a medical necessity and this is a cosmetic treatment not a medical necessity 
Um, so I would have to do a, a cash um, payment, <laughs> which kind of sucks, but um, I can afford it. So that's, that's the good news is that I can afford it. Um, the other bad news is that my overbite and the reason why I didn't work the first time is because I was using Invisalign. She said that my overbite cannot be 100% treated with just Invisalign. I would have to get braces for like six months. And as an actor and someone who works in front of the camera, I don't think that's going to be a possibility for me. <laughs> Which kind of sucks. I mean, it's only six months, but also six months is a really long time. So I don't know. Much to think about. Ugh. All right, y'all, this is what my brother got my mom for Mother's Day. He just got cash and a bunch of ones as a joke because he's stupid, but it's good for me because now I have ones for like tips for valet. <laughs> Cause that's always an issue I have, especially in LA. Like if you're driving in LA, you gotta have uh, tips for valet. Cause there's always valet all over the place. So now I just put it here. And if you follow me on Instagram, You've probably seen this before. This is my money clip. She's very luxurious. Um, I feel like a rich old white man when I when I pull this out. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Sorry. Uh, how much is that? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, I'm going to go get some Botox today. Um, I have been... Anyway, um, I've had like... I've always had issues with like my TMJ and I have a few friends that have gotten Botox for their TMJ and they said it really like lessen the pain which is super important for me because like even right now it's just like so there's so much tension in my jaw and i also grind my teeth at night so i'm gonna try botox and see if it improves any the only thing i'm concerned about is i heard like botox in your tmj can change your face shape like it can make your face like slimmer which i don't really want but um hopefully like if it does change my face shape, I hope it's not by much. But the good thing is that it only lasts like six months or whatever. Um, but God, it's so painful right here. So let's see if it works. Right, y'all so i'm just jumping on voiceover real quick because i just realized i never updated you guys on what happened during this appointment so basically i did not end up getting the tmj botox because 
my injector, Mrs. Vanessa Lee RN. She said that if I did do it just based on my own facial structure, it would probably change my face shape too much and I really didn't want that. So what she suggested instead um, was a little bit of chin filler because, you know, I do have a slight overbite and because that cannot be completely corrected with Invisalign, um, and my chin is a little bit recessed, she added a little bit of chin filler to balance out, um, my profile. So yeah. All right, everyone, uh, it's go time. Tomorrow is my birthday party slash housewarming. Uh, so we need to leave the house today, run some errands. We're going to go to Gums Mall again because we want to get uh, that mirror that I saw last time to put up there. And then we finally did the entryway. We finally put up this mirror. We got some things going on. I'll give you a tour of that later. Um, but yeah, we need to leave the house now. Party, party, party! <laughs> yep. <laughs> you still do a uh, MMA thing? You know, watch it. Do you want me to put the glass in for your picture? It's fine. We're just newest additions to the home we have this gorgeous um vintage like seascape original artwork artist proof ap and then we have this beautiful mirror that we're going to put up here i like these but these are too modern for this space i got those for you know my last modern apartments and it doesn't really fit in here so we got this beautiful mirror, beveled glass, love that. And then I'm putting this right here. Ta -da! I really like it in here because the crown molding in this, um, in the dining room, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. here instead of over there. Okay, look at the difference in my hair. This is straightened using the chase method you know, with like a comb. And then this one is without. This one just doesn't have the same shine. You know what I mean? It's not a straight. Big difference, eh?
cameras for people to take throughout the party, and then they'll just leave it here, and then I'll get some and develop. I didn't know what a long ass video this was, um, but I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. But before I end the vlog, this is my coffee table. I just realized I didn't um, show it to you guys in the actual space. Actually, let me get up so you can see the full thing. I mean, obviously my living room is in editing comfort mode. So everything is all over the place. But look how good this coffee table looks. And it was only $55. Wow.